Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, we look at this and we determine we need to figure out the value of x. So we need to determine what is the sum of all of the angles. So we look at the number of sides, and we have four sides. We can determine the sum of four sides, but hopefully by quadrilateral, you guys know compared to a triangle, a quadrilateral, the sum of all angles of a quadrilateral is 360. So that means all of my angles, let's call this angle 1, 2, 3, and 4. The sum of all of my angles, measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 plus measure of angle 3 plus measure of angle 4, add them all up equals 360. Does everybody see that? So what is the measure of angle 1? Well, that is just x plus 10. Plus measure of angle 2, 3x minus 6. Plus measure of angle 3, 2x minus 8. Plus measure of angle 4 is x equals 360. Does everybody see that? Are you writing this one down, Richard? This is a good example, you guys, to have in your notes, not just on your sheet of paper on your desk. All right? Because a main important thing, guys, if you notice, I haven't done any like mathematical algebraic stuff at all. All I did was I found the equation that's going to set up for this thing. And I just set it up. Now, Lauren, the next thing I need to do is combine like terms. So I combine my variables. So x plus 3x is 4x, plus another 2x is 6x, plus another x is 7x. Then I combine my numbers. So I have 10 minus 6 is 4, minus a number, number 8 is going to be negative 4 equals 300. And 60. Does everybody see how I got to this equation? Or anybody have any questions on how I got this equation? Amani, questions? Very good. good. Now I solve the two-step equation. So I add 4 on both sides. So I have 7x equals 364. Divide by 7. Divide by 7. x equals anybody? Did anybody get this answer? Three sixty four divided by seven equals fifty two. So x equals fifty two. I guess I could have done that in my head, but I don't know. does that make sense? Cool. Okay. Is anybody like me to do any of the other questions off of that? 